Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike with Electric Head TV. And uh, this week we're going to kind of go over Record Store Day haul, uh, some records I've gotten between now and then from random here and there, and uh, just a little update of what's going on. So stick around. Cool. So yeah, like I said at the beginning of the episode, uh, yeah, we're going to go over some things that I've gotten the past couple weeks, including Record Store Day. But uh, first, I'd like to say, sorry it's been a little bit. Um, Thanksgiving holiday, of course, took up a little bit of time. Had a sick kiddo, but I have this video and a couple of reaction videos coming for you. So stick around for that. That ought to be good. Um, and uh, hey, anybody that made an order over uh, the Thanksgiving and Black Friday weekend, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, those who didn't, go ahead and go to electricheadrecords.com, pick you out something. We got, mm, excuse me, we got uh, vinyl records, we got CDs, uh, MP3 downloads, there's uh, video games, other merchandise on there. Uh, you get something, it really helped the, the channel out, plus it gets you something nice in the process. But uh, anyway, that all said and done, let's go over some things. Um, first, I don't know if any of you all collect vinyl or anything like that but I do um, and this past Friday the Black Friday after uh, Thanksgiving was a another record store day release where they put out exclusive titles and the such so I went to a local shop up in my area and I picked up Puss first little uh, seven inch single it's got flipping and smoking mirrors on it pretty good nice little 45 the uh, pressing is in clear. Then I got Crobot. Nice little four song EP, I think it is. The Rat Child EP. Yeah. First song on it has uh, Frank Bello on there from Anthrax. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And uh cool thing about this, comes with this awesome poster. Look at this. Got the Rat Fink style art on that. That's awesome. And then look. If you don't like that, you got your nice little mushroom side over here for black light reflective hippie goodness. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a little hippie goodness. And check out the nice press this came in. Nice slime green. There we go. You're okay. You're okay. And then on the other side. Nice little Rat Fink style etching. Very nice. It's okay, Rufus. It's okay. What do you think you're going to get? He's like, oh. <laughs> uh, here in Electric Headland, we also got a puppy. Um, little visitor came into our lives quite abruptly. So uh, I call him Rufus. For him is a doofus. <laughs> and then I got the Inseminoid soundtrack. To be fair, mostly because of the kitschy art. It's got that weird, like, horror synth sci-fi sound to it. Um, wife absolutely hates it. Says it was an impulse buy. She's probably about 50% correct on that. But don't tell her I said that. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was all I got for the record store day stuff. Um, there's a couple other things I thought about getting, maybe like the Aerosmith or uh, Mr. Big or something, but eh, I just kept it at that because they had some other things there um, that I picked up as well. So, but we'll get into that in a minute. All right. I ordered some vinyl from Earache Records over in merry old England, and then I had them send honor valor pride the two lp set the gatefold on the inside also comes with a huge poster yeah yeah that's huge all right that's what she said um but you know i'll say that next to that then i got a numbered copy number 224 of 300 
for Nightbringers in single yellow. This is by Black Dahlia. There we go. Comes with a nice little insert. That's the insert on the back. And a poster as well. I'm not going to unfold the poster. It's just the, the cover. Um, but I do want to show you, again, because I like these a lot. Ah, the inner sleeve that comes with it. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, you can see that's a signal orange. But I love the printed inner sleeves. Stuff like that means a little bit to me. I like the, to be able to, it's like, I don't know, pride in your work, stamp your seal on it. You don't get just a basic insert, that you, or not insert, uh, sleeve like you would with whomever, you know. I like that it would be polyline. That is polyline. But then it's even cooler if it's got a print on it. That's that's really cool. Another one I got, some more Bolter, Fourth Crusade. Uh, I've got a guitar video coming up for This Time It's War. So that should be coming up in the next couple weeks. I'm probably going to do like a minute and a half at a time. Show you the riff by riff. This came with just a printed inner sleeve. Which I put a polyline bag in and throw them in there. Then this is the Spearhead slash Cenotaph EPs. Hello. All done on one. And it's a little printed insert. Or printed sleeve, excuse me. Oh, that uh, I put a polyline bag in. Just like I did with 4th Crusade. Then I got, also still from Eric. This is the last one from Eric. Eric. Um, I ordered Miasma from Black... Dahlia murder, miasma, miasma, whatever you want to say. And um, it said it was confirmed in the shipment, but no show. So I've got a line into customer service. Hopefully I hear something soon, get that in, or at least a replacement. I know these things probably don't stay in stock pretty long. But I got a number 23 of 300. Yep. In, what is this, Ever Black. Also comes with an awesome freaking poster. I'm going to have nothing but Black Dahlia posters everywhere before it's all said and done, I'm sure. But I love this album. Love this album. Raped in Hatred by Vines and Thorns. Great song. Alright. Now, this is something I just happened to find at Walmart. Buried behind some stuff. Walmart exclusive. Uh, what is it? What is it? Smoky Marble or something like that gray marble. It's like a black and silver smoky edition. Not gonna lie, not my top Anthrax album, but still Anthrax and good for the collection. I won't, however, say the same thing for volume 8. But whatever. All right, some more things I got while I was at my local shop for Record Store Day. Gojira. 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 From Mars to Sirius. Man. Uh, what is it? What's Oh, God. I know it's heavier, Heaviest Matter. Yeah, we're, dra we're a Dragon's Dwell and Heaviest Matter of the Universe. Those two songs back to back really do it for me. Killer stuff. Did get a chance to listen to that. Oh, I don't know if I can get there yet. And I also picked up in Justin's new one. Was it where God's tread? Where God's may tread? No. Also, two disc. And I'll put LP. I like this one. It's like a clear and green like ink in the clear type. Love it. Love it. Still need to listen to this one. Uh, the earache order just came in yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to listen to any of that stuff yet. Hopefully soon. All right, one more I picked up. Uh, this one was at Target, and it was their exclusive Purple Rain. I did get a chance to listen to this. Um... Also, it comes with a poster, but 
I like the printed sleeve. And then I wanted to show you the, the purple on this. I got a lot of purple. Even that cenotaph is purple. <laughs> but that is a beautiful, beautiful. I just probably can't even see it all that well on there. Trust me, it is every much as purple and pretty as Prince, the symbol himself, would want it to be. There we go. And a good copy. I mean, a lot of people can dog on Walmart and Target and whatnot. But, I mean, yeah, they suck as corporations or whatever, but... <clears throat> I still like vinyl. Don't, don't take it out on the, on the records. All right. And the last thing I got was finally, um, give me uh, metal, the vinyl subscription. The last one I'm getting from them for a while. Uh, the next two is ghost and uncle as acid, acid jazz and some shit. I don't know, but I got a uh, power trip. That was the last one. It was uh, nightmare logic comes with the, Rest in peace, rest in power, Riley. Donation uh, hype sticker. Um, of course, something was up with the printing presses. If you follow vinyl records, some say it's Adele, some say it's Biden, some say it's the world, some say it's the goof. Who knows? But there's been delays, setbacks, etc. And this is one that suffered almost two months behind. But can't wait to listen to this one, too. Um, to be honest, Power Trip wasn't a band that I got to listen too much, too, too much before Riley had passed. And uh, I look forward to hearing what they offer. But, yeah. So, again, sorry it's been a while for the videos. Um, I'll have, like I said, a couple of reaction videos coming up. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys got for Record Store Day, if you got anything, or just let me know what you've been getting recently. Doesn't have to be vinyl, just let me know if there's any good bands to check out. Maybe it's something I can re react to for the videos, and who knows, maybe I'll find something new. Um, that all being said, if you can, like I said, go to electricheadrecords.com. Um, that Right there you can support the channel and buy yourself something nice. Uh, go to Instagram, follow us at MikeT underscore EHR. And at electrichead underscore records underscore official. Till the next episode, be safe.